should have been an incompletion. Something down, and we'll call it a long three. There's Darrell Thomas. They thought they had him in full apple. He breaks out everyone in the joint and takes it in. Blake Blood Apple all the way to the house. And Marshall's got the lead back, a 51-yard run. Well, if you're the defensive end, you're saying to yourself, well, you know what? They're going with that zone read. Okay, we've seen that a couple of times. There's no way some dude 6'6", six, six, two and a quarter is going to pull that thing out and go. That's exactly what happened. Fooled everybody in the place. And number 15, wow, what opportunity for this freshman to come through in a big spot like this. Have an interruption here for number 15. You know what? I'll fake it. Uh, he's got one. No, wait a minute. He's got it. He's gone the distance, number 15. Six points. Thundering herd. Well, we talked about whether or not thrown apple would rise to the occasion. We knew that he could throw the ball a little bit downfield, but take a look at the quarterback here. The block on the outside linebacker enables him to have a gap, but the inside linebacker, in this case, it's Ty Holmes, is going to take two steps to his left, and that's going to create a gap. Note in the secondary, they go with the runner, and that also creates a gap on the second level for Fronapple, who shows surprising speed for somebody as angular he is as he is. It's just six foot six, two and a quarter. And right there, he gets to that next level, and everybody's surprised. We can't believe that he has the football, but he does. And as a result, with 11 minutes and 12, mi 12 seconds remaining in this game, the Marshall Thundering Herder up by a field goal.